Hey everyone, my name is Amsan and I'm here uh, for another tutorial, the second one. So in the first and last tutorial we saw how to do this fake uh, 3D technique when a uh, 2D object, let's get back, became 3D and you can even turn it or turn the camera. I, I forgot to tell you in the last tutorial that you can turn your uh, layer or fake 3D layer, but don't turn it like 90 degrees because here the effect will collapse. Okay, so it's fake 3D, so it's just to play with this uh, value around uh, here. Okay, so I use this technique also for uh, projecting light rays uh, that I've done in one of my templates, and here is the result. You see here how we have a projection of light rays in a 3D uh, environment and even we see in the camera passing through them. Nice. So it's used exactly the same technique but with different, some little difference. So I'll show you very quick how uh, I've done that. So first I have uh, my logo comp here and uh, I have my main comp. Uh, in my logo comp, uh, be, be careful, the logo must not be too close to the border. It's, um, you see that later, I'll explain why. So here we have just our uh, logo, without any effect, we have our uh, friend, the horizon null object, and let's uh, call the effects. So uh, suppose we want to use only the edges here, so we'll use the Vegas effect. I'll show you where you find it, it's in generate. Vegas effect, sorry. Vegas, okay, let's hit transparent and let's hit uh, image control. Let's hit alpha. Uh, alpha, okay. So now it's uh, creating an edge over the alpha layer of our logo. Uh, let's uh, keep it at one, one segment and maybe give it a Change the color a uh, little bit width and maybe it's rotation here. And suppose I want it full, I can do like uh, I don't know some kind of. But anyway, th this is not the the subject. So start opacity zero, middle opacity one hundred. Okay. So just because the subject of our tutorial is not how to animate uh, edges, it's uh, about uh, creating light rays. So we'll keep moving. So once we're done, uh, once we've done with the Vegas effect, let's add the CC radio blur effect and uh, fade in zoom and give it a positive value. This way, we have the light. We have the. We can see already a kind of this uh, light rays effect but it's kind of um, too transparent, so we, let's go to color correction, curve, and play with the alpha, give it more uh, corpse, yeah, like this. And maybe then uh, use a little bit fast blur, because light is never so hard, yeah, maybe one or two, no, maybe five. Okay, so right now we have our, our light rays, you can give them more distance, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? But if we, so let's go, we are in half. If we play with the camera, you see it's flat. So weird. Okay, let's reset our camera. Let's form reset. And let's go to our logo and Alt click on center and take our expression, the famous uh, fake 3D expression that I used here. Let's copy it from the last tutorial and paste it here. Uh, the value is horizon here, the name of the layer. So if you choose to s name your layer, I don't know, Philip or something, so just <laughs> type it here. <laughs> uh, okay, so now that we said to our uh, effect to take the position, the 3D position of our horizon, and the layer and transpose it, convert it in a 2D position over our, our logo layer, the magic happens. So we can now move the camera and we see that it's 3D. You see? 
yeah, we can lower the quality here, but 30 and even 20. It will give you, no, maybe not 20. But if I raise this value for the blur, yeah, maybe 30, yeah, after all. Okay, so it just will give you a uh, faster a faster render, a faster. Uh, and you see here why we have this cut edge here. Uh, it's because uh, it's an effect inside our layer. That's why I've told you to keep your logo small um, in the comp. Here I have a 4K uh, comp, and our logo is about like a full HD. But I can make it a little bit. But to avoid that, I can also came here. And what's the motion tile, I guess? I don't Yeah, none. So it's CC Reptile, and I will expand it down just to see what it does here. No, but I have to make it way up so that it works. You see, I expand it, and our effect is going on now. So let's expand it about like no, 60, and expand it also up about 600. Uh, sorry, 600. And we can play now again with the camera. And even go. Good. And even you can also have this uh, um, zooming in. You see. And we can also play with our logo rotation. So if I. You see. If our logo is rotating up, then we can have this nice zooming in, zooming out. Maybe more rotation here, no. and you you can see now the effect that I've done here in this logo. Uh, being here in this uh, comp, so to avoid this artifact, it's not just because I'm playing it at uh, a quarter, just for the sake of the preview. So you get the idea here of how to have this nice uh, effect. So pretty quick this time now, 10 minutes again. Well, I don't know, maybe I'm really slow um, teacher. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you like this tutorial. If you find it useful, so please hit the like button and maybe subscribe. I don't know. It's up to you. Thank you. Goodbye.